Hey YouTube, uh, today we're going to go take a, uh, a look at the uh, motorcycle collection a couple of times in other videos I've mentioned. I plan to uh, make motorcycle videos this summer, hopefully with some GoPros and stuff like that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take a walk out here and check out the bikes. Okay guys, so we're in the garage and uh, as you can see I have a lot of junk around me. Um, I plan to have a shed done uh, late spring, early summer. So basically everything that's in here that's not a motorcycle or a car or a hand tool uh, is going to be getting out of here. Like my grills and um, all of the yard equipment. So as for bikes, uh, we'll go over each one as far as what they are. I'm going to go into more detail on the Indian today because I plan to make some changes to it in the near future. And I just want to kind of go over it before there's anything changed. Um, since we're about to make some big upgrades. So let me show you what we have. Okay, so first up here is a 1979 Yamaha XS 1100. This bike is uh, a project and is in pieces or somewhat in pieces. Um, I, I may be uh, ending the project here uh, and moving on, I haven't decided yet. It's a lot of work and parts are really hard to find and that's what's making this a really frustrating thing. Or I may just keep it, it's just sitting here, it's just a headache, finding parts sucks. So uh, this is a buddy of mine, he has a, a street glide, I don't know much about it, year, whatever. Um, I don't know anything about it, it's not mine, so it probably won't be on the channel really. Um, I'm just holding it for the time being while he's moving. And uh, the first bike, which is the bike we're going to go over in more detail, is the uh, 2015 Indian Scout. This is the uh, uh, first run of the new Indian Scout. Um, what I've done to it is add some uh, saddlebags to it. I believe these are uh, U.S. Saddlebag Company uh, saddlebags. They're really high quali quality leather. Uh, I'm a big fan, so if you're interested in uh, putting saddlebags on your bike. I would highly suggest giving them a look um, I added a Corbin seat. It's uh, really comfortable if you put some miles on it right from the factory It's uh, pretty stiff. I added um, the luggage rack. I added some Samson Cannon uh, slip-on exhaust pipes um, You'll see in some of my other videos. I had um, done a couple other exhaust videos. Uh, one was not my bike, it was a um, RV racing pipe that was made. I kind of orchestrated getting that built uh, and the guy sent me a sound clip of it. I made a video on YouTube of it. Um, and then the other one was the stock exhaust where I took the uh, uh, baffles and everything out of it. Um, I also had, I had two of these at one point, so one was stock comparing it to what I did to modify it. Um, and then this is the Samson Cannons. I'm going to play a clip, cold startup, and then I'm going to do a clip with the uh, baffles in and out. Uh, other things I've done to this is uh, re-adjustable uh, rear shocks. I had the front suspension re-sprung and valving changed. Uh, I chose for the uh, thicker Indian Scout uh, grips here. And then uh, these handlebars were custom made by uh, BR's Bars out of New York City back in 2015 whenever nobody made anything for the bike. Um, I went ahead and did an aftermarket LED headlight. Uh, this company is who makes all the headlights for everybody. Um, I forget the name of the company. I'll try to look it up and put a uh, link to their uh, website. Basically, they make all of Harley Davidson uh, LEDs, Victory LEDs, basically every company that puts LEDs on a bike, they get in their headlights from this place right here. So it's as good a quality as it gets. And this is uh, one of those, uh, I forget what they call it, but it's where like when you turn, it lights up on the side to kind of help light up your turn. It's pretty cool. Um, the bike over here is a uh, 2009 uh, Harley Davidson Night Train. It's a uh, Second Harley I've ever owned. It was actually my 32nd birthday present to myself. Love that bike. We'll go into detail on that another time. And then uh, over here is a 2018 Harley Davidson uh, CBO Ultra. This is the 115th anniversary bike. So it's a numbered bike. There was only uh, 
1,200 of these produced in the world. And so pretty fortunate to uh, be able to get my hands on one of these. Love the color. Pretty much love everything about this bike. I've done a lot to that as well, so we'll go over that in the future. And uh, I picked myself up one of these uh, handy motorcycle lifts so I could easy, uh, more easily clean my bikes and do some simple maintenance. So we'll go ahead and give the Indian a cold start up. Okay guys, uh, I went on a quick ride around the block just to warm everything up. So we did the cold startup with the baffles out. And then this is uh, a startup, a warm startup uh, and rev with the baffles in. Hey guys, so this is going to be a warm startup with the Samson Cannons Baffle Out. Okay guys, so there you have it. That's the uh, Indian Scout 2015. Um, like I said, there's future plans or near future plans to change some things. And so I kind of wanted to go over the bike um, in somewhat detail. As of right now, uh, currently there is a Trask air intake, a stage one Indian tune, and the Samson Cannon slip-on exhaust. That's all that's on it. Uh, from a performance standpoint. Um, what's going to happen here in the near future is I'm doing a, a, a big bore kit from Revolution Performance, I believe it's called, and then Andrew's cams. I'm going to do a recluse clutch, um, power commander, dyno tune. Uh, hopefully I should get about a 50% power increase over uh, the stock horsepower numbers, which should be insane. The bike's already really fast for what it is. Um, let me know what you guys think about the uh, Samson Cannons with the uh, baffles in versus baffles out. Um, I much prefer the baffles out. It's louder and to me has a deeper tone. Uh, being a smaller displacement engine, um, the deeper tone is a little bit nicer. It doesn't give it that uh, you know small engine, uh, higher pitched sound. Um, so anyway, it sounds good either way, to be honest. Um, I do think I lose a little torque um, in more of the drivable uh, RPM range by taking the baffles out, but I think under uh, wide open acceleration, I think I definitely, uh, I'm not losing anything and possibly gaining something on the top end. Um, but uh, I just don't want to ride around with the baffles in. And now it doesn't matter because it's getting replaced. Oh, that's the other thing here. Um, the uh, exhaust is getting replaced with a Two Brothers Racing two into one uh, pipe, which is uh, real pretty tight, uh, a, a stainless steel uh, hand welded pipe. Um, I'm going with that just to kind of see uh, what the difference in power is. So the plan is gonna be to um, dyno the bike as it sits, and then I'm gonna install the uh, Two Brothers exhaust myself, have it re dynoed and then uh, once I get the dyno numbers from that, they're gonna disassemble the bike, do the, uh, the engine build, the dyno tune, and then kind of see what that yields. So I'll have some numbers to share at some point when the build is done, kind of giving before and after figures, um, be able to see what it's like with just normal slip-ons versus a full exhaust, uh, two into one exhaust anyway. Um, I'd imagine a two into two, you probably wouldn't see a huge difference between factory and Maybe something, high. well, that's not necessarily true. But these Samson Cannons are really, uh, they're really uh, no, no baffling. The baffles are rather small. Actually, I can show you uh, what the baffles look like if they're not too hot to pick up. Um, but anyway, they're nothing big, and I'd imagine they just increase uh, 
back pressure a little bit. This is the baffle that comes out of the exhaust. So there's one in each one of the uh, one in each of the exhausts there. Um, so basically, um, like I said, I think it affects torque. I don't know about horsepower numbers. We're going to run it on the dyno, baffles out and baffles in, just to see how that changes the uh, torque curve and the horsepower. And so that should give people, other scout owners, an idea of what kind of horsepower they can make with just a like a factory tune. Um, an air intake and a slip-on exhaust system. And then I'm gonna go with the two into one, dyno that, um, just to see where that stands. And I have dyno numbers to compare with somebody that did a Bassani exhaust on it. So I'm interested to see if the Two Brothers makes more horsepower than Bassani. Um, I don't really care for their two into one. Um, I do like the look of the Two Brothers. It's stainless, it's uh, hand TIG welded. It's really nice looking, although I'm not a fan of megaphone exhaust systems. So the style of the Bassani and the Two Brothers is not what I would ideally have, but there's not a lot of options. And I think of the options out there, uh, Two Brothers Racing is the uh, highest quality and more than likely uh, put more uh, time and effort into uh, R&D to make sure they uh, create something that actually is functional. So uh, that's why I went with that. Um, other than that, guys, I have nothing. Um, vlogging, by the way, is a lot harder than I, I had uh, thought it would be. You know, when I do my little Chuck videos and whatnot, uh, I just point the camera at myself, talk, drink, whatever. Um, the fitness video stuff is uh, kind of similar. Um, a little bit to touch on that. I am going to make a motorcycle um, playlist. So if you're only on the channel to watch motorcycle stuff or you want to be able to find it among all the other videos, um, everything's going to be sorted out. So motorcycle playlist, uh, fitness playlist, and then uh, beer playlist as of right now. And maybe at some point we'll add like food videos. So <laughs> I like to eat. I didn't get big by not eating. So anyhow, guys, uh, take care. Until next time.